Hello y'all, welcome back to my channel, like with Tisha 1000, it's your girl, Tisha 1000. If you could do me a very big favor, subscribe to my channel, y'all, like my videos on up, help your girl get to 100k subscribers, y'all, please, y'all, help your girl get up there, and if you can um, share my videos, make sure your notification bell is on, so you won't miss any of my content, and make sure you comment down below to let me know how you enjoy my reaction. We are going to be reacting to Mar Lewin, Martin Lewis, um, Queen, Queen of Your Mom speaks on Claire, uh, Claire's NYC TV, plus more tea. So we're going to be reacting to that, y'all. Um, I don't know where this is going to go, but let's get into it. We got a little ad. Oh, I like that looks so nice. Just because I'm tired of y'all saying this, plus I don't want nobody in summer. I don't want nobody thinking they can do this. This is all an assumption, of course. I don't know if she's actually talking about the hospital. People are saying she's talking about the hospital because no one said that I know of Kit Miss Reva. I don't remember anyone saying that. I remember when Tina spoke about it, she didn't say anything like that. But anyway, Miss Reva decides to answer this question, whatever it was, regarding. No one slapped me. No one put their hands on me. That will never happen. I ain't that type of woman. I'm sorry. I've never been the type where you can just slap me and I'm gonna pull my elbows over my head and go bend down in the corner in a fetal position. I'm just not that type. Have a blessed day! <laughs> you know, imagine if Clarence did hit her and she like lifts him and throws him out the damn hospital window. Oh, oh no! Gosh, Liz. See you later! Anyway, Chris Sells has been making his move on a lot of people lately, apparently. It was Ruby Rose. She's so beautiful. Ah, no, Sakari! People were saying he was hitting on Leslie. And then whoever wins, get the beautiful queen. We should do that. So a boxing match. I think that'd be dope. Because how about this? If I beat Clarence up, I go back to my girl. If he loses, he gotta go back to his girl. girl. If he wins... Huh? If he wins, I'll start being lazy. How about that? That's fair. That's all I agree. I thought he was just kidding, but anyway, apparently he was also flirting with a man. Today. This guy, a YouTube consultant apparently, decides to share messages between him and Chris Sell. I'm talking to David in the cut. Look, you guys, so a lot of you guys have been like pretty much like coming for Chris and he's been in the shade room for the last two weeks. Oh, so that's why you want to, you're hoping to get on the shade room, huh? Just about to add fire to it. So a lot of you guys might have thought like, oh, is Chris Sell's like bi, gay, or straight? Well, honey, all I got is receipts. Bruh. Ah, no, and I hope these work out for you guys and confirm a lot of your questions and everything. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to show you guys the screen recordings of our messages and then I'm going to click on his Instagram account so that you guys can necessarily see that this is actually his Instagram account. All right, we ends and we out. Remember, it's David in the cut. Okay, so let's look at the messages, okay? Let me read some of them to you. I'm interested in knowing the prices I can try to talk to you at the event, but you are on the move. Keep up. I think you may quit it. Well, yeah, parties ain't really my thing, but I try to have a good time since I've asked to be there. But most of the time, it turns into business. Normally, I would end these conversations the week and hurry on. Does that make me special? Because it was someone with interest, I would think you're flirting with me in a way, but I could be wrong. Maybe. I don't know. So you're gonna be back in Houston? Why? You know where? I'm trying to make some more money, multiple streams, where it is at. Maybe we we'll chill for a little. Um, uh, chill? What makes you think I want to chill? Because you know I'm attractive. I'm a whole daddy out here. Oh, you're you talking pretty freely, lol. Anyway, here's the video when he jumps in. Okay, so 
first of all, this is not credible at all. Anyone can edit fake messages and then clip in together of them clicking into Chris Sell's profile. So putting two clips together, the fake messages and then clicking onto Chris Sell's profile to make it appear real. This is not credible at all. The only way someone can prove messages, keep note, okay, where the f***s my phone? Look, you don't even need money, okay? You don't have to buy an extra camera, an extra phone for this. We all have best friends. We all have someone that we know who has another camera. So pretend you got a camera like me and then you just, this is all you do, okay? So we'll go into Martin Lewis Leads, which is my lead page if you want to send receipt. You go over there and my team investigates and looks into things, right? So let's go into the profile. Martin Lewis Leads. Okay, so I'll show you. This is how you know these messages are credible and legit. You will click on the profile bit, just like that, on camera to show that it's really Martin Lewis Leaves. I'm not doing this, trying to do sneaky shit, not editing on some move, like, please. You can't edit this shit. If I did a jump cut, you would be able to tell. So, I definitely don't think these messages are real. I think they're fake. I don't think Chris will be that stupid to openly flirt with someone in the DMs because the potential of that getting leaked out is very high and then I'm sure he doesn't want to be known for that. Yeah, I think these are fake. You all this is fake! Man, this is the second time someone accuses of Chris Sells of like flirting with another guy or something like that. Okay, so let's go into the clip that everyone is dragging clearance on, okay? So, Miss Reba was at Queen Nige's album opening or launch and Miss Reba looking pretty, looking cute. She Bruh. She was there, sitting there. Queen Night is taking the photos, right? Well, Clarence walks down the stairs and walks past her. Check it out. Christmas coming. Hey, 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 hey. Commenting, it was definitely trying to get out of the word. The bodyguard is the only man I see in his video helping Queen holding legend carry stuff. Hey, I could be reaching that. Clarence acting like he can interact with his kid. Personally, I feel that this could be a reach because, for all you know, maybe Miss Reva and Clarence already spoke and he was coming downstairs. Why would he need to speak again? Maybe he was in a hurry. We don't know. I'm going to assume this is my assumption that he probably did avoid because he is yet to still embrace Miss Reva, have photos with Miss Reva to die down the, you know. Everyone knows that there's beef between Miss Reva and Clarence because he has not spoken on it yet. They're so quiet about it, which tells me that there's probably still tension there. But yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. But you know, Miss Reva's like, you can't take me away from my daughter, bitch. <laughs> okay, so let's get into Desiree. Recently, she tweeted, I'm a black indigenous woman that I decided to dress up as Pocahontas for Halloween. The last pick is my 100% native grandma. I've been getting bullied and harassed by white passing natives since Halloween. It's disturbing. Frankly, I feel targeted because I'm brown. They are disregarding my native culture because I am brown. I have received numerous racist and colorist messages as well. Am I missing something? And brown. They started going in on Desiree on social media on like TikTok. Check out some on the videos, man. And we thought, okay, she just doesn't know because you took the video down. But here you are posting it again, which clearly shows that you don't care about your quote unquote native culture, that you're supposedly part native. No. So I'm going to be the savage that your favorite little movie claims that we all are. And I'm going to tell you the truth. Your vibrato sucks. You're ignorant. You're disrespectful. You're appropriating culture that's not yours to appropriate. And you're done. Oh, I know what that is. <laughs> Was talking about the white party thing because I'm just like, hold on, who made her a queen? And now, to be honest, I don't know what movie she's talking about. I didn't know Desiree made a movie, I know she makes movies or stuff like that. So, I definitely would need to check this out. I'm just telling you what I saw today. You're gonna repost it about the I'm gonna be straight up. You're gonna see you next Tuesday. That's what you are. You only wanted to learn shit because you want to make yourself look good, and you don't look good with that cleavage that you showed in the video online. And the fact that one of my sisters reported you, we're all gonna report you to your manager. Oh my god! She threatened me! So be straight up with that 
baby girl. Be straight up. We all don't like you, and we're all gonna make sure you get canceled. Bye, Desiree, or Anne, or the fair name is. Bye. How vindictive is this bitch? Bye. We're gonna get canceled, Desiree. Oh, what? Get out of here. Rod Desiree. Karen's gonna tell your manager on you. <laughs> But guess what? Oh, she put it back up because, you know, it's all about her, right? It's her world. Who gives a f about anyone else? You just get head out of the mirror. You want to put on a front like you give it and you care about people when really you're from only giving shit about yourself? Where's your class, man? Where's your empathy? Sexualizing first murdered missing indigenous woman? Gary, people like you need to get some help. Now let me know in the comment section below. Do you think Desiree is looking ready? Do you think she's sexualizing you? You may think you did nothing wrong by posting it again. <laughs> No, stop But let me give you this example. What if I wore blackface? And after being told why it's wrong, I upload it again. What would you be thinking about that? Our <laughs> culture is not a costume. <laughs> Man, look, I'm logging out. You let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for notifications. Smash that like button. And I'm going to see you guys in another drama video. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, that's my reaction to Mar Lewis. Um, yeah, y'all can do me a very big favor. Subscribe to my channel's Live Petition 1000. Make sure you comment down below. And let me know that you watched all the way through. Make sure you have your notification bell so you'll be seeing my content, y'all. Cause I'm doing this new thing now where don't get me messed up. I'm still gonna be doing my nails. I'm still gonna be doing the mannequins and hair hot oil treatments all of that do not worry guys do not worry um but when you read my description every time i post a video read the whole thing it will say all the things that you're going to be when you subscribe to my channel it's telling you a little input of what you're going to be expecting and when you look at the part that says so much more this is one of the parts of so much more so i want to do like reactions I want to do all kind of variety of things on this channel just to get the feel going. And I might start a second channel, you know what I'm saying? Um, Life with Tisha 1000 Reactions TV. Um, or a little shorter than that. But um, yeah, you guys, I'm doing something new. So support your girl. And um, yeah, with that being said, y'all, it's all love here. It's no hate. No negativity at all. And, you know, watch all your girl uh, videos. Like my videos on up, y'all. Just watch all the videos I posted. I got over 200 videos. Um, the video I have, like, some of them have, like, the fan in the background. But I know um, for all my support, for all my supporters that I really appreciate, I know you can look over that because it's very hot. Like, right now, I got the light on. It's hot in here. But... It's all good. Um, and like I said, it's a little hot, but it's all right. Um, you know, I'm doing something different. So with that being said, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy my reaction. And y'all will be seeing more. Um, yeah. And I will see you guys on the next one.